I know, I say it wrong. I gave it an extra A, but in Arkansas we give it <laughs> Really? Wasp in the face. Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back into Chicanic. I hope everybody's having a wonderful week. I was until I was doing yard chores today and I got burned. Yes, I was stupid and I got burned. Now, if you have seen some of my past videos, you might know why I got burned doing yard chores. And I want you to guess why in the comments below. If you are the first one to guess correctly, I'm gonna send you something special in the mail. So it's like August already, and before you know it, chainsaw season is going to be here. And like with all my other videos, I am making these to show you the most common problems I see homeowners have that they come and ask us about or their units that they bring into the shop to fix. So one of the biggest issues that homeowners have is with their Husqvarna chainsaws. Yes, I said Husqvarna, not Husqvarna. I am from Arkansas. We give everything an extra an A. We even stole Kansas's name and gave it an extra R. So you gotta bear with me on this one. I'm used to saying Husqvarna. So people go and they buy this chainsaw at their big box store. They are gung-ho. They're gonna go out there, they're gonna chainsaw. Now either one, they've never ever used a chainsaw before. Two, they've never used one with this particular design. Or three, they just haven't used one in a long time and they forget and it happens. But I do know that even people that have ran chainsaws a lot of their life, if they've never ran one with this design on it, they don't know what they did wrong or how to fix it. So today we're gonna go over some of the tricks of the trade on your Husqvarna chainsaw, why your chain might not be turning, and why you can't get your clutch cover back on your chainsaw. But before we jump into that, I have a huge thank you to one of my uh, friends here on YouTube. His name is Bill. Um, I didn't know how to set up one of those wish list Amazon things, but I just did last week. And he was the first one to get a hold of me and tell me that he wanted to send me something, which was like super crazy awesome. But he got on there, he got himself a set, and he also got me the six piece wear a screwdriver set. Oh yeah, I am so excited. I'm fixing to bust these open and use them on this video right here. I cannot tell you how good Wera tools are. The tools that I like to get, my husband buys them for me for my birthday and Christmas. Yeah, I know that's the kind of things that I like to get. Um, is Wera, which is W-E-R-A, and Weha, which is W-I-H-A. All my Torx, sockets, uh, the nut drivers, um, and my, now my screwdrivers. I have this little Wera kit right here. Um, that I use all the time for all my small stuff. This is my metric set. It also has Torx and screwdrivers, but it, um, it's awesome. It's, you know, costs more than the regular stuff, but it is so worth it. I used to have all craftsman tools, which, you know, you had because you could return them and get them replaced whenever they broke down. Well, good luck doing that anymore since Sears is no longer in business. But, um, like the Torx, they would always the handles would wear out you know when you're in this kind of business and you're working around gasoline and carburetor cleaners it would actually like melt the handles the wear tools and the we tools they don't wear out they don't melt even you know in arkansas 100 percent humidity they just last and so these also have laser tip uh etching on the end of them for better grip the handles are ergonomic or ergo i don't know how to say the word but when you, um, they're shaped like in a hexagon shape because at work, the counter I work on, it sort of slants towards me just a little bit from us leaning on it for so many years, I guess. But uh, so everything you put down, a flashlight, whatever, it rolls off the edge. Well, not with these bad boys because they've got contours and curves to them. So I'm super excited to use these. I'm fixing to open this box up and you're fixing to see what they look like. All right, so we've opened the box. It comes with this cool little Tool Rebel sticker. Hopefully you can see that pretty good. It comes with a little wall mount rack here. I don't know why it has seven holes when it's a six piece set, but hey, maybe you got something extra you wanna stick in there. I don't know. But look at them. Ooh, this is so nice. I'm so excited. So <laughs> let's get on with this fix. For this demonstration, we are using a Husqvarna 235 chainsaw. This was just a scrap one I had sitting around at the shop. The reason it is scrapped, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. You can probably stop, zoom in on that. This bad boy is burned up. So what I see is customers come in with the side cover off. 
and they cannot get it back on. So let's show you what they do to get it in that state first of all. They're running their chainsaw, the chain pops off, maybe their chain uh, break engages as that happens because that's what it's supposed to do. If you ever get in a, in a spot where it pops up on you, that's your safety feature that pops forward, locks the chain in place to where it can't keep turning and cut you. It's, it's a nice thing to have on these. But they don't realize that it's still engaged when they go to take their side cover off. So we're going to go und tighten these nuts and I'm going to show you what it's like to take one off with the chain brake still engaged. So when you go to take it off, it's sort of stuck and you're like, well, what's going on here? Maybe I should loosen the chain. I don't know. Let's, let's loosen the chain a little bit. See, oh, no, let's use my new screwdriver set. Oh yeah. Huh. We're gonna loosen the chain. It's got a front tensioner. Does that help any? No. So what are we gonna do? How are we gonna get off? Well, of course, what do we do? We're gonna pry it off, because that's what you do. You've got your chainsaw tool. You're gonna get behind it. You're going to press a little bit. You're gonna go off like this. Oh, you're gonna go up front here. A lot of times, I don't know how to get it off. I mean, that's a lot of work. All right, I think we're almost, we're almost there. A little bit more. Like you would think when they're to this point of prying, they'd be like, wait a minute. All right, so we have now successfully pried off the side cover. Um, that's a lot of work. So stop, if you feel like it's, it's that hard to get off, there is a reason that it is not coming off easy. It should just slide right off. If you have your chain loose enough, there is no reason you should ever have to pry your clutch cover off. So after prying it off, you fix your chain, you do whatever, when you go to put it back on, well, this is your chain break inside. And what happens is if the chain break is still engaged, this tightens up around your sprocket to stop it, it, it won't let the chain turn anymore. So when it's this small, it's not gonna go back, slide right back on the sprocket like it should. So we're gonna have to disengage the chain brake before we can get it back on the chainsaw. Now, a lot of times when this happens, you have no tools on you to fix it. And there is one way that you can try to do it and it will work if you hit it just right. The only thing I don't like about doing this is that the plastic inside of your um, handle right here, your chain brake handle, it's, it's plastic, okay? And it's got these, this little star notches right here. And it actually, the clutch cover has this metal piece that is part of your chain brake and it fits inside of that plastic part. And when you do this, you're gonna put the side cover back on the chainsaw and you're gonna line up as close as you can get that gear to go into the plastic part again. Now you're gonna to wanna to go forward a little bit and it, you'll feel it slide up in there and then you're gonna to wanna to push really hard. Now you can grab around the front here and then you can pull back. Hear that pop? We just disengaged the chain brake. Now let's go over why they were probably taking their side cover off in the first place. The most common reason that I see. Okay, so we have the barn chain here and after looking at it, it's sort of sad. I mean, this is the original chain that comes on these chainsaws. Um, it's the anti-kickback chain with a 3 8 low profile. And this saw to be burned up before it even went through its first chain, that's sort of disappointing. So what I see most, the reason that people are actually uh, taking their side cover off in the first place is because they're um, cutting things that makes their chain jump off. Now, when you are cutting wood, chainsaws are made to cut wood. So anything that you, know, you are cutting needs to be at least the size of a finger. And anything smaller than that can get stuck in between where the bar and the chain are and make your chain pop off. Now, when your chain pops off, you can have a brand new chain on there, and if it pops off one time, 
it'll sling up underneath the chainsaw and uh, hit the chain catcher, which is a safety feature, so it doesn't sling back and, and hit you. But let me show you real quick on this chainsaw. This is your chain catcher right here. And when the chain pops off, it slides under this way and it'll hit that. Now, when it hits that, a lot of times the drivers, which the drivers are the part that actually slide in the bar, they will get mushroomed out to where whenever you put the the chain back on the bar, it won't fit inside this groove of the bar. So it'll get to a certain point where it'll it'll go around and spin, but it'll get locked up as soon as it starts to go into the bar and it won't spin. So if you find that you have that problem where your chain won't turn after you put it back on, check that. See if your drivers are mushroomed out because that is one of the most common problems I see with chains that have jumped off bars. So that's it. Hopefully if this problem happens for you, you know how to fix it now and I saved you some time, money and frustration in the future. If you haven't yet, please give us a subscribe and if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Uh, if you haven't yet, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Thanks and have a great day.